this video, I'm going to be taking a look at symbolic differentiation. This is a topic that is often found on the AP Calculus AB test. You will be asked to find the derivative at a given x value. They will give you a variety of function values. Um, in this particular example, I've got f of 2 equals negative 4, f prime of 2 equals 8, g of 2 equals 3, g prime of 2 equals negative 1. They're going to ask you to calculate the derivative at x equals 2. So in this first example, I've got f of x times g of x. So I'm going to need to calculate the derivative symbolically first, and then find that derivative at x equals 2. So since it's basically two functions being multiplied together, I'm going to have product rule. So I'm going to have f of x, the first function, times the derivative of the second function, which would be g prime of x, plus the second function, g of x, times the derivative of the first function. And that is the derivative taken symbolically. Now, they want me to calculate the derivative at x equals 2. So now I'm going to show f of 2 times g prime of 2 plus g of 2 times f prime of 2. And all of those values have been given to us, so now it's a matter of um, arithmetic, some calculation here. So f of 2 is negative 4 times g prime of 2, which is negative 1, plus g of 2 is 3 times f prime of 2 is 8. So then we're going to have a 4 plus a 24, and then a total of 28 here for my final value. In the second example, I've got f of x raised to the third power. This is going to indicate um, a chain rule. The outside function is something being raised to the third power. The inside function is that f function. So we will calculate the derivative symbolically first. So we'll use power rule. We'll pull that 3 down. We'll keep the inside function f of x and leave it alone. And we'll remember to subtract 1 from that exponent. And then, since it involves chain rule, times the derivative of that inside function. So there's the derivative taken symbolically. Now I want to find that derivative at x equals 2. So I'm going to do 3 times f of 2, and then squared times f prime of 2. Now I'm going to plug in the values that I have been given. So it'll be 3 times f of 2, which is negative 4 squared, and then f prime of 2, which is 8. Negative 4 squared is going to be 16, so then I'll have 3 times 16 times the 8 for a final answer of 384. So definitely uh, two quick, straightforward examples there showing symbolic differentiation and then calculating that derivative at a given value of x. Again, this is a common topic that is often found on the AP Calculus AB test. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Thanks.